and today I am coming to you guys with a video all about my new wallet. It is by Savvy Sense, and I'm super excited about it, so I am going to show you guys um, what it looks like inside, how I have it set up. I mean, it's a wallet, so there's not really that many different ways to set it up, but I'm going to show you how I um, have it organized inside and why I love it. So let's get started. As I said, this is the Savvy Sense wallet, and I unfortunately did throw away the packaging, but this came on the zipper pull. So it's just their logo, and it says on the bottom here, for the fashionably frugal. Very cute, very true, right? Yes, love it. So, um, yeah, so it was packaged pretty nicely, um, and it came with these awesome little labels. So I'll just tell you a little bit about the wallet itself. It is a cash envelope system wallet. So if you follow Dave Ramsey, if you're doing your own cash envelope system and you're looking for something that accommodates that, this wallet is absolutely perfect. Um, I'll show you a side view also. It is really thin. Um, I was going to say compact, but it's, it's a pretty large wallet, but it's pretty thin. And that was one of the biggest things that I really liked about it. Um, and that was one of the biggest issues I was having with my own wallet. So let me show you what my other wallet was or looks like my old wallet before I got this one. Um, here it is. It's totally beat up. It's kind of embarrassing to show you because it's <laughs> it's gone through a lot. It was originally cream and it's almost like a multicolor now. Like it's yeah, it has a lot of like kind of dirt and grime on it. But it, the material of this, it's really difficult to clean. So like once something was on it, unless it was like a liquid that just kind of um, you know stuck to it, it was pretty much impossible to get it off. So that was kind of a bummer. But um, my hubby got me this wallet a few years ago. And I liked it. So when we started the cash envelope system, what I did was I actually made little sections for this wallet. So I'll show you those, what they looked like. Um, so here's the inside of the wallet. You can see it has a lot of different compartments. It has a nice zipper and all of that. And on either side, basically, I would do these little cards. And um, they each have their own specific designations. This one's date nights. Um, this one is household. This one is personal spending. This is for Kiki, our little dog. And this one's groceries. So I made these just with um, some cardstock and post-it tabs on the back here. So I just cut the cardstock to the size that I needed it to be. And then I used a post-it tab on the back. Um, and I laminated the whole thing. And then I would just write in Sharpie up here what, it was, what the category was for. So I staggered the... Um, post-it tabs so that they would kind of stick up at different places. They wouldn't all be right behind one another in my wallet. So this worked really well and I was pretty proud of myself because it was kind of an industrious thing, right? Kind of a nice little DIY, but it really made, um, it made my wallet easy to use as far as incorporating and utilizing the cash envelope system. And I'll tell you why I hesitated to get the Savvy Sense wallet right away is because I wanted to make sure that this system would be something that worked for us as a family, that it would it something it was something that made sense, that it like worked in my brain. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, there are just some things that you see and like you think they're a really great idea, but they just don't work for you from a um, a realistic standpoint, right? They just don't work for how, how your brain works. So I wanted to try it out and see. Now this, and, and it did, it worked really well. However, I would end up with cash in this section and because it's not really that expandable, like it comes out a little bit here, as you can see on the edge here, but with all my other things in here, so with, um, you know, debit card and, eight, and ATM card, that's the same thing. And with a debit card and ID, and I have a ton of gift cards to different places and restaurants and things like that, I would put receipts in here, I'd have change in this compartment, um, all of these different things. And the wallet ended up being huge. It was probably about this large, and I couldn't like close it anymore. I couldn't zip it closed. So it was getting to be kind of frustrating and just very bulky. Um, and it was difficult to, to actually like fit in my purse with everything else. So I knew that the cash envelope system was working for us and that we wanted to continue using that and so I decided maybe it was time to look into the Savvy Sense wallet and I'll tell you even still I kind of hesitated and I was like well do I really need it is it really gonna make a difference is it gonna even look much different than my wallet does now and I'll tell you it really does so let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what it looks like so here is the wallet opened up and it opens flat which is awesome and it has two different sides here. So 
My first concern with this wallet was that it wouldn't have enough card slots. And not that we have like credit cards or anything, we're obviously getting away from those. Um, we don't, well, we actually don't use them at all anymore. But we don't carry them in our wallets anymore. So I wasn't concerned about needing to store my credit cards. But like I mentioned, I have a ton of gift cards. I have a ton of like loyalty cards and um, just different things like, you know, insurance cards, et cetera, et cetera. So as you can see here, I have uh, my debit card. This is my insurance card. Um, I have my Starbucks card, probably the most important card in here. Um, I have a gift card over here, a library card, and a AAA card here. Um, and in the back, I do have a few of our business cards for our youth ministry. I like to carry those around just in case. And um, that's it. So that's pretty much it for this little section. And then I do have a pen in here also. So right off the bat, looking at it, I was like, yeah, six card slots are not going to be enough. Like, I'm, I know that I'm going to end up filling this part out in the back and just bowing it out. And I'm going to have a stuffed wallet again. So I don't know if that would really work for me. But then... But wait, there's more. So go over to the cash side here, and this is a little picture of my nephew. He is the cutest. He was probably four here, so it was a few years ago. But anywho, this section has two different card slots. So this is where I keep my ID, and then I do actually just keep his picture here. Um, and I will say one criticism I did see or hear about before purchasing this wallet was that the card slots were very small or that they're very tight. Um, I will say that I haven't really found that to be true except for in this instance here. My ID does fit totally fine in this section here, but I tried to put my debit card actually in this side um, of the little of the two slots here, and I had a really hard time getting it in um, this side. So I did move it to this slot over here, but I was able to get this picture in just fine. I think it may have just been like I don't know the corners, or it was the fact that the two cards were the same size, so it was taking up a little bit of space. I'm not sure what it is exactly about this side. That makes it more difficult to fit two cards next to each other than this side. But I didn't notice that problem at all with this side um, where the six card slots are. So I will say that that is something to be a little bit aware of and maybe just have a plan for, for what else you're going to put on this side. If you're going to put your ID here, just know that two cards can't really fit there very well. So let's get over to the cash side. So as you can see, it has this little strap here, which kind of holds all your cash in, which I mean, hey, I guess if you're a baller, like that's really important and you need that, but <laughs> I don't really have that much cash normally. So open that up and kind of tuck it away. Now here is the best part, and this is where I got the idea of the tabs in my own wallet, um, and I'll also link a video of where I got the tabs for those, those um, the ideas for the tabs in my own personal wallet, but these Savvy Sense tabs so this is probably like the revolutionary thing about Savvy Sense, right? Not only do you get to carry all your cash in here, but it has different sections. And it has these awesome little tabs so you know what each section is for. So I'll tell you guys what I did with my tabs and how they come. So they just come, they're clear, kind of an acetate sort of design here. And they come with obviously the tab on top that is also just a part of the entire little card here. And what they include in your order are a few stickers. So as you can see, there are five there, and they're, um, you know, so there's there's five sections, and there are five stickers that come with your Savvy Sense wallet. Now, when I saw these, I kind of said to myself, well, those don't really fit into, like, the categories that we actually use. And I'm also, like, very kind of a cautious person as far as, like, permanent things or things that seem more than, like, temporary and more than that I can just, like, adjust as I need to. So I started thinking to myself, okay, maybe I'll make my own stickers and I'll just like print them out on the computer or do something like that. Well, I came up with an idea to actually use um, some little page flags as my little dividers here. So what I did is I actually used a little sticky roller. So this is turning into a kind of a DIY section here, but I used a little sticky roller and I put sticky, you know, sticky roller all over this tab. I stuck the page flag to that little section, and then I trimmed off the excess to make it rounded and fit on perfectly, and then I just wrote in what our categories are. And the benefit for me of doing this is that I can change these out as needed. Like right now we have groceries, personal, dates, household, and then I have a blank one because we kind of need like miscellaneous, but we could also have our dog, but I, you know we could also have it for like youth stuff. So I left it blank for now just because I'm not totally sure how I want it set up. but. 
I liked the ideas of the the idea of these because I can adjust them as I need to. I can just take off the little tab, although it's on there pretty well. Um, it's it'll be really easy to remove and replace and change out the tabs as needed. So let me show you kind of where those go first of all. So here is the cash envelope side. Now each section actually has two sections. So it's a small section on the front part here, and that's actually where the card, your little tab divider goes. So I stick the little divider in there, and right behind it is where the cash goes. So hopefully that makes sense there, and I'll show you kind of what I do with those, because remember, like I said, I have a ton of gift cards and things, so I needed a place to put those. So let me just run through our tabs with you guys. So we have groceries, um, I have personal, dates, household, and then like I said, this one is blank. I'm either thinking of doing miscellaneous or probably miscellaneous, just because it, it can kind of change that last tab. The other ones are very consistent, but that one is can definitely change. So I'll show you the personal section, what, what it looks like. So this is the second section, which is our personal. And so this is all my personal, I say all my personal spending money. There's $15 in there. <laughs> all my money. <laughs> so anywho, so this is where I keep my personal spending money. And what I also do with this front tab here is I put in anything like gift cards or um, I have a rain check here from Sally's Beauty. Um, I do, I put in receipts. I have like a gift card that has a receipt around it in this section here. But all of these gift cards, which there are actually a lot, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit there. Um, each of these gift cards are really for my personal use. They're things that I either got for my birthday as gifts, like this one is for Bath and Body Works. Um, there's like a Starbucks one in here, I believe, and different things like that. So these are all things that I can use like for myself personally. There's some shopping ones, um, et cetera, et cetera. So those are, it makes perfect sense for them to be in my personal section. And the thing I really love about the fact that I can fit the gift cards and things like that in here is that I, I don't have to fish around anymore when I'm at a store and I'm looking for a gift card or I think, oh, hey, don't I have a gift card to this, you know, ice cream place um, if we're out on a date or, oh, don't I have a gift card to Bath and Body Works? Let me pop in and see if I can get a candle or something like that. I can quickly find it and it also helps me to know um, what I have gift cards for, what we don't necessarily have to spend cash on. Um, I went to the mall just this past week and I literally spent like $5 because I had a bunch of gift cards to different stores. So I didn't need to actually spend, you know, very much of my personal money. So I do that with each section. The next one is dates, as you can see there. And so again, we have a bunch of gift cards here. We have gift cards to restaurants. We have gift cards to, or we have um, free movie tickets. Let's see, more gift cards, more gift cards. Um, there's like things for ice cream, oh, Pinkberry. Um, and then there's also receipts. So again, it just keeps everything in one place. And when we're going to like reconcile our budget or to look at what our spending categories are, how they're going, it's really easy to pull out these receipts and see, okay, yeah, I did spend X amount of money on personal money and X on dates this month and um, things like that. So it's much, much easier to go through and see what you're actually spending your money on and keep it all organized within its own category. So again, same thing I have for household, um, a JCPenney gift card, which is ancient, oh my gosh. Um, and I also have a cartridge ink replacement card. So you can also keep like frequent buyer cards in here, for example, with like your groceries. Ours are all just um, linked to, I think, our cell phone number or our email now. But if you have um, a store card for your grocery re store, for your grocery store, you can put it in this little section and just pull it out. Um, when you're at the grocery store. It makes it really easy, you know exactly where it is, and it's super, super convenient, and it helps you to save more money, which is a win-win-win. So the last section I have is just miscellaneous, and there's just some cash back there. Um, so no receipts really for that, although I actually should have a couple, so I may have cleaned those out um, at the beginning of the weekend, but that is it. So that is what I really, really love about the Savvy Sense wallet. The tabs are personal, you know, it's, it's easy to kind of personalize them and to adjust them to what your needs are. And it's, it also just makes a lot of sense from an organizational standpoint. Um, and I'll show you again. So this section over here, like it is pretty large, right? It does stick out quite a bit. But the accordion style, the way that it's designed, is designed to get a lot, lot larger than it is. So here's how it is when it's just sitting. And here's, you know, the, the width that it can be, right? So it gets very, very large. Um, if that's a need for you. 
And then again, you just kind of snap it closed and keeps all your gift cards or all your cash or whatever's in there. And then zip the whole thing closed. And then on the back is a nice zippered compartment for your change. Um, it is pretty deep and it does hold a lot of change. I had quite a bit of change in my old wallet and when I switched them out, I was really impressed with how well the same amount of change that seemed pretty bulky um, fit into the Savvy Sense wallet and it didn't make the back of the wallet stick out um, incredibly. So it has some change in there and as you can see, like it's pretty flush, right? It's pretty good. So um, it does you know, kind of stick out a little bit at the bottom here. But again, this wallet is, it's much, it's much more compact um, then these, this one's about the same size, and this wallet is completely empty at this point. My, you know, my old one, it's completely empty at this point, and it's the same size as the Savvy Sense wallet is stuffed with things. So, I hope this is helpful, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I am absolutely loving this wallet. Oh, and I forgot to show you one other thing, actually. It does have a little pull-out wristlet here. So it does have a little pull-out strap that just comes out of the base of the wallet. So you can wear that as a wristlet, um, and you could just, you know, if you're running into the grocery store or something, you can just throw it on and run in, grab what you need, and run out without having to carry a huge purse. I am not a person who can run around without my purse, so I end up just using it as a wallet. But it slides in and out really easily, and it's really, really convenient. I know my mom would definitely use it as just a little wristlet when she needed to. So yeah, so that is the Savvy Sense wallet, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know below. Oh, and I'll tell you guys what the price is. So it is $29.95. It's pretty much the, it's literally the same price um, if, if you get it on the Savvy Sense website or if you get it on Amazon. And the shipping is the same also. So um, on Amazon, it's not eligible for like free shipping um, that you can do with, I think, Prime or something like that. So anyway, um, it's not eligible for free shipping, so it is literally the exact same price. So I just went through Savvy Sense and purchased it there. I did have a gift card that I used for my birthday. So the total price, I want to say, was $35.95. I believe shipping was about $7, 6 or $7. Um, but it did come to me in about five business days, so totally not bad. Definitely a worthwhile investment if you're going to get a new wallet, if you are committed to the cash envelope system. It's definitely, definitely a great way to go. I can't recommend it enough. So like I was saying, if you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you guys soon.